What is going on you good people? I hope you guys have been well. I am very sorry that there hasn't been a YouTube video for the last couple of weeks. I have just been absolutely flat out and you've probably seen by the video title it hasn't been the best couple of weeks to me. I've sold the I've sold well my pride and joy, the boat, the amount of memories I had in that thing was just insane and well, it's sad to see it go, but there is a massive uh, opportunity for me opening up and I'm very, very excited to give it a red hot crack. So currently, I'm up north. I sold the boat a couple of days ago. I'm up north, just north of Broome, which is right at the top of Western Australia. And this place is absolutely wild. I've been here for a couple of days and I'm, I'm blown away. Like I've been to some pretty cool places around Australia and this would almost take the cake. It's remote. The animal life is incredible and the scenery is just wild. Currently on these mud flats, trying to look for my dinner. I'm gonna show you guys what I got up to yesterday. So my cousin Alex and his missus Izzy joined me on an adventure that was absolutely insane. We went to this place that looked a little like Mars. It was just red dirt and the terrain is like nothing I've seen before. Anyway, I'll roll on that footage now. And before the end of this video, I promise I'll tell you my future plans and why I sold the boat. Enjoy this episode, guys. First issue, I've got a cliff here. I'm just gonna scale around here and get down. But pretty much this coastline's just wild. So up in these parts, there's just these massive tidal pools as you guys can probably see behind me. And the tides can rise up to seven or eight meters and it's just hectic when you watch it actually unfold. So these tidal plains here are just incredible and they're filled with so much marine life. Two major things in here that you've got to watch out for, or three actually I'll add. You've got the stonefish, which I haven't seen one, so I can't really show you, but if you search it on Google, you'll see it's like this um, fish that looks exactly like a rock. It's extremely camouflage. It'd pretty much just look like that right there. And obviously if you step on it, it's got these spines that come out the top. It's just insane, the punch that they can pack. There's also these conefish, cone shells, um, and they're just pretty much a shell that looks like a cone there. Yeah. Exactly, they're a shell that looks like a cone, um, and they've got a little spine on the top as well that has uh, venom or poison in it. And there's also the blue spotted ray, which I've seen a couple of out here, and they lay just under the sand. They're pretty easy to spot, but if you didn't and you step on its uh, barb at the back, another thing, a venomous creature that could uh, probably kill me out here. So that's exactly why I come here, because I love it. <laughs> there's nowhere else in the world like it. Let's keep going. For me, owning a boat that expensive uh, in my current state is probably not the smartest idea. I was doing it and it was fine and I was working uh, in the meantime, I was traveling then working, traveling then working, which was going great, but when you want to do something like this, you've really just got to take that massive plunge and just try and do it full time. You've got to put all of your effort and time into it. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a sport, you're trying to be a professional athlete, this tide is rising big time here probably going to get moving in a second <laughs> um, but whether it's a sport whether you're trying to be good at business whether you're trying to be good at your job or anything in life you're trying to get fit you just got to be patient persistent and consistent and that's one thing that I really really want to try and do more this is a dream of mine and so far it's just been an amazing experience to me and the amount of people that I've met and the things that I've been able to do simply wouldn't be able to happen if the sponsors um, and you guys didn't watch what I do and obviously the sponsors didn't support what I do. So I'm incredibly uh, thankful for that. And I just really wanna take that next step and next plunge and try and do this thing full time because I'm at the stage where I can now. I really need to get moving. <laughs> look at this. My feet are already covered. Hang on. Oh, look at the drone. Everything's getting wet. This is wild probably got like a 200 meter walk back to those cliffs as well. All right, hang on, pause that convo, pause that convo. Oh boy. The most hilarious thing about all this is I've actually got no idea like what's gonna happen next. I've just got no idea. Like honestly, I do not know what I'm doing tomorrow. 
Um, I'm gonna camp here tonight. Probably gonna wake up and just travel and find somewhere new. I've never been here before, so just got so much to explore, which is exactly one of the reasons I've sold this boat because it's just opened up so much opportunity for me. Um, I've got no idea what I'm gonna get next. Obviously, I need a boat, a tinny, maybe a bigger boat, maybe a jet ski, maybe a quad bike with a jet ski on the roof or a toy hauler. I've got no idea, but whatever it is, it's gonna have to be cheaper. Guys, so very, very exciting time. So I've actually gone and created a brand called Wet Sacks. Now, Wet Sacks is a waterproof storage brand to make sure that all of your equipment and accessories stay dry when you're out in the water. Whether that be camping, fishing, boating, going for a long walk like I just did through the mud flats. It's built quality, it's built to last. And well, there's a couple of products that I'm gonna show you guys right now. So first up, as you guys would have seen before, this is the backpack. So it's got two straps on the back. It's a waterproof bag. You can chuck it on your back like so. You can wear this thing on a jet ski, put these straps on, it's tight, you can run around with it, it doesn't move around. I've put my camera gear in here, I've gone fishing in the flats up to my waist so you don't have to worry about your bag getting wet because it's going to stay there, it's not going anywhere and it's safe. So this right here is one of my favourites, it's one of the biggest wet sacks bags available and pretty much it's a waterproof duffel bag. Rolls up at the top like so, connect your straps, it's completely waterproof. I put clothes in this thing, I actually went camping with the boys last week and I left this thing out in the rain with all my dry clothes, my only dry clothes, and it actually lasted, which is pretty cool. So I'm actually working on a wet sacks waterproof bin bag as you guys will see now. It's on the back of my car and so far it's ready to roll and I can't wait to release that. The last two products that I've got with me today are these two waterproof storage bags. This one's obviously half the size of this one. My mate Nick Fry took this out camping. He had all of his gear in it for a couple of days on the boat, got pounded by waves. It was left on the roof, left outside of his swag and everything stayed dead dry. Now this one right here, I actually used in my boat as a safety gear bag. So what you can do is you can chuck your EPIRB your flares, a head torch, matches, anything that you would need in a survival situation in your boat that you don't want to get wet. So pretty much chuck it in, you do it up. It's in a small bag, this bag will float. You can grab this bag, chuck it over your shoulder when your boat's going down, you know that everything's in there and everything is gonna be safe and dry so it works when you need it the most. That's about it anyway guys, the sun's just going down at the moment. I'm gonna set up camp, I'm gonna sleep and uh, there's gonna be a lot more episodes coming. So that is exactly why I'm selling this boat and it's been a very, very sad week, but a very, very exciting week. I can't wait to show you guys what's next. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave in the comments what you want to see me get up to in the next couple of episodes. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, jamie.vogler, and make sure you send me a DM because I love to chat to people who are like-minded like myself. I think there was a lizard over there. All right, guys. Good night. See you next time. Cheers.